Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we will solve logical interview questions which will ask in Automation Anywhere interviews. If you are new to my channel, if you want to learn Automation Anywhere from the scratch, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Let's understand the question 6, number sign checker bot. Task is write a program that checks if a given number is positive, negative or zero. Input will be given by a user, a single integer and output we have to show in a message box. In case positive number, then we have to show as a positive. In case negative, then we have to show as a negative. In case zero, then we have to show it as zero. I hope you have understand the question. Let's see how we can get a solution. So in case the user is given an input minus one, then we have to show output as input is negative. In case user is given a positive input as a 10, then we have to show a message box as input is positive. Let's solve this question using automation anywhere tool. First, we have to collect all the steps which is involved in this particular solution. So let me take a step, drag and drop inside our number sign checker step. So our first step is take input from user, right? This is our first step. And let me take a second step also. The second step is check sign of number right we have to check which particular sign example positive or a negative right that we have to check it so the last step is 0 3 show result in message box right these three steps we have to complete to get a answer for number sign checker board so we will go step by step our first step is take an input from a user, right? How we can take an input using prompt for value, right? We have to take a prompt for value command. And here you can mention our question. Let me take a copy and I can paste it here. Number sign checker bot, right? And the prompt for message is Please enter number, right? We have to enter a number. So then we have to save this value in particular output, right? To save the output, let me create a variable str number input because so we are storing the value in a string data type by default in automation anyway, but it's a number input, right? So that's why I'm taking str number input create and select our step first step is completed now we have to go with a second step so second step is check the sign of number to check this we have to go with a if condition so let me take a condition if and we are dealing with the numbers right so that's why we have to take a number condition and the source value is your input value str num input but unfortunately this is under string data type we have to convert string to number how we can convert using inline conversion in the type casting to do that before the last dollar symbol just add a dot symbol dot to number so now your bot will convert string data type number input to number data type so now if it is greater than zero right so we have to check if it is greater lesser or equals to zero in case if it is a greater than zero then we can call it as positive number right so let me take a message box inside show message right so let me drag and drop here and this step we can take it inside the if condition and the message box is so our number right str num input is 
positive right it's a positive number same way so next condition is in the if we have a else if condition because my second condition the first condition we have to take in a if and the second condition we have to take it in a else if in case the first condition is not satisfied then only bot will go to else if right so in the else if also we have to take a number condition and in the number condition same way i will take str number input dot to number so we are converting string to number and in case this is less than zero right same step three i'm just copying this and pasting inside the else if and the message box is negative right because we are showing the negative number if in case the user input is smaller than or lesser than zero so now the last condition we have in case that is equals to zero right so now it's a last condition so that's why i can take a else condition so else is always a last priority in the conditions so now let me take a again the show result in a message box i have copied and i'm pasting inside the else condition so now what we have to do now number is zero right because the number only having a three condition one is less than zero greater than zero or equals to zero so like this we can solve this particular problem so now let me run this bot and we will see how exactly we will get a result in automation anywhere so once the bot will ask you to enter a number so let me enter a number minus 10 so this is a negative number right if i click ok you will get the answer minus 10 is negative right so first condition is satisfying in automation anyway and let me run again and we will see the second condition in case we are giving a positive number maybe we can try a now 100 right 100 is a positive number let me check so now the use the bot is giving 100 is a positive right so now the last condition we have that is zero right in case you are entering a zero then how exactly what will show you the message box so let me give a number as zero click ok so now the bot is giving the answer as zero is zero so like this we can easily solve this particular question in automation anyway if you are having any question regarding this solution please comment on this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you i have already created rpa related videos in my youtube channel please go through all youtube videos and get the knowledge happy learning go be great